Hello guys and welcome to our in-depth tutorial and review of Clinico, which is a leading cloud-based practice management software designed for healthcare professionals, okay? Over the next minutes, we will explore its key features, demonstrate a real-world use example, and provide an honest assessment of its strength and areas for improvement, all right? It is important to notice that when you sign into this Clinico, service you're gonna have a 30-day free trial okay so you can try this for free completely and you can invite multiple people to your account in case that you're running some kind of i don't know clinic or things like that so of course the first thing is going to go to clinico.com and you basically have to click on get started all right in order to get like a free 30-day uh, trial like like i said before if you want to know the pricing you can just come to this section here and you can basically see how much it's going to cost you per month I find that it's not very expensive, okay, considering what it offers. In any case, whenever you create an account, you're going to be welcome to this dashboard in here, and you're basically going to have your appointments, your patients, your invoices, and your reports, and things like that, okay, which is something that we're going to cover in this tutorial. Also, something important to keep in mind is that you can write new messages in this message board, which is, which is in the main dashboard. And these messages are going to be seen uh, basically for your employees, for your practitioners, okay? Sometimes you run like, um, you know, a clinic and you have different doctors and different, you know, uh, practitioners in general. And you want to text and you want to write messages to them. And you can do this by doing so, okay? You can just create the subject and create the message and then post the message, all right? And it's basically going to look like this, okay? And you can edit it or you can eliminate it clicking onto this button here. Now, the first thing that I want to cover, of course, is the pacing section. That's going to be the first thing that you must, you know, complete before you do anything else, okay? And it's actually very intuitive. You can just create comprehensive profiles by clicking on Add Patient in here. Let's actually click on it. And then you can add basically the title, the first name, the last name, date of birth, the sex, gender, identity, pronouns, and extra information that you need, okay? As you can see here. In the extra information, what I recommend you do is that you note certain, you know, uh, basically information about the patient in terms of the health, you know, some conditions that he may have or previous treatments that he has been going through, okay? And yeah, besides that, you of course want to use an email and a phone number, okay, which is great. And very importantly, uh, Clinical lets you add some billing information, okay? Sort of like a balance that you can add to a specific patient. For example, let's say that your patient has like a promo code or some kind of balance that he's using it in order to pay for your services. You can actually add this to your uh, to his opening balance. And very importantly, you also want to provide an email invoice. Okay, so yeah. So let's actually click on save patient. And if you want to modify his medical details, you can just come to treatment notes. Okay, and you can create a new treatment node. All right, as you can see here. And you can add the details such as presenting complaint, complaint history, medical history, the medication that you're going to basically, uh, that he's going to be taking, and the treatment and the plan, okay? And you can just save these details, okay? Which is amazing. And you can do this for every single patient in your list. Also, if you come to the files section inside of your patient, you can basically add files by clicking into this button here, such as analysis, x-rays, and things like that, okay? Some files that you might have from your patient and that you might want to find useful, okay, which is great. Once we have our first patient, what we can do is we can start scheduling appointments, okay, by going to the appointment section. This is actually very intuitive. In order to book a session, we just have to select the time slot that we want to use and the day, right? So let's say, for example, that I wanna select, I don't know, Thursday, 29th of May at around 10 a.m. So I'm just gonna click on this button here. I'm just gonna click, okay? I'm gonna select the practitioner. In this case, it's only myself, okay, because I'm the only practitioner. I can select from the type of appointment that I wanna use, all right, which is great. And I can also select the patient, okay? In my case, it's gonna be John Doe, which I can select, okay? The guy that I created before. And I can select the time. In my case, it's going to be from 10 a.m. to actually 11 p. 11 a.m., okay? So, yeah. And what's good is that if this is a recurring client or a recurring appointment that you're going to perform, you can repeat this you know, daily, weekly, or monthly, which is great. And you can add a note in, order to, in, in the case that you need to give more details, okay? So, let's click on Create Appointment. And there we have it. Once you do this, you can reschedule your appointment by basically holding click 
and dragging across, okay, to your desired day and time, okay? And when the time has come, basically, you can just click on it and you can select whether your client, whether your you know, patient has arrived or not, okay? In my case, let's select arrive and you're gonna be welcomed with this icon here, great. You can also book another session or reschedule, like I said before. Also, I like clinical because of the billing process. It's actually very easy. You just have to come to your invoice section, all right? And we just have to click on add an invoice, okay? We have to select our patient, which in my case is gonna be John Doe, the one that we created before, great. And we have to select the practitioner and the appointment, okay? In my case, I showed you how to do this before, so yeah. And now you can basically add whatever item you wanna you know, charge this client for. In my case, let's say, I don't know, initial consultation and treatment. Okay, and you can select the unit price, okay? And you can also apply like a certain discount or like a certain tax rate. After you're ready, just click on create invoice and an email is, is gonna be sent to this client, okay? To the email that you provided before, so yeah. Something important to mention is that if you come to your settings here and you click on finances and then taxes, you can update or you can add a certain tax relevant to your country, okay? In my case, I have VAT, which is 21%, but you can add whatever tax you actually want by clicking on add tax, okay? That's gonna be important and that's gonna allow you to add them in the invoices, okay, which is great. Also, because this is gonna be useful for clinics, this wouldn't have any use if you couldn't add more practitioners, right, besides you. So what are you gonna do is you're gonna come to settings, actually to users and practitioners, and here you can add a new user, okay? And you can give them or give her certain permissions, all right, which is great. Lastly, let's talk about the reporting tool, okay? Clinical reporting tools offer valuable insights into your practice performance, all right? You have a bunch of different menus, a bunch of different things that you can track from here, such as, you know, appointments, patients, transaction, and marketing in general. Some of the reports I actually find very useful and very curious, such as the upcoming birthdays for your patients, okay? I find that these tools are actually great. You just have to access them, and you have to select the different filters, which is the time range and the practitioner that you wanna include in this report, and then you can just create the report, okay? And you can also export it by clicking on print here. Okay. To summarize, I think that Clinical is very user-friendly. It has comprehensive features in terms of reporting, scheduling, and invoicing. And it's just you know, a very easy uh, tool to use, and it's very user-friendly in general. I think the cost is that it's very limited or it's somewhat limited, but for a clinic, I think it's nice. And some of the advanced features you actually need to pay for, okay? And you need a higher plan for them. But yeah, that's pretty much it, and thank you so much, guys.